Hey everybody, Mike Miller here from Dry M Visual. You want photon torpedoes? I got photon torpedoes. Let's take a look at some photon torpedoes. Alright, those are photon torpedoes. And once you've downloaded the file from the HitFilm preset marketplace, you're going to find three project files and a README file. This first project file, HF2U, Triumph Template Photons, HFP3, Triumph Template Photons, HFP2017. And uh, this tells you which version of HitFilm I made each template in. And the only real difference between the HitFilm 2 version, the HitFilm 3 version, and the HitFilm 2017 version is the HitFilm 2 version uses lightning, the HitFilm 3 version uses the light sword, and the HitFilm 2017 version uses this, the new light sword ultra. So let's just go ahead and open up the HF2U version here in HitFilm 4 Express. And when you open up any of the project files, it's going to dump you into this notes comp. I'm not going to talk about this notes comp. It just kind of talks a little bit about what I'm talking about here. You're also going to find this shield impacts comp. And the shield impacts are um, just some bonus animation elements I threw in so that uh, you can, you know, do some shield impacts. The meat is the photon torpedo. So let's go ahead and RAM preview that. And now that we finished with the RAM preview, we can take a look at what it looks like. So these photons are trying to emulate the look of the photons from Star Trek The Motion Picture. They look like this. And this isn't a bad way of doing it. So let's take a look at how these are built. All of the projects basically have two layers, a photon sphere, which I will turn off, and the photon spikes. And below that is a point rig, a center point, six out points, and the camera. The spikes will each contain several effects. Spike one, two, three, four, five, and six. All of these spikes are either lightning effects or light sword effects that use the center point as the start position and one of the out points as the end position. The photon sphere represents the core. And that is just a plane that has a clouds effect on it that's been spherized and made rather small and then a couple of glows and some light flares on top of that. So how do we use these? So here we are in HitFilm Pro 2017 and we're looking at one of the shots that I did for the demo animation. Right now I have all lighting options turned off. I have the viewer resolution set to quarter just to keep things moving along a little bit quicker. The camera is mounted underneath the Klingon cruiser facing the Federation cruiser. You can see one of the photon torpedoes running off into the distance and another one's gonna come in and hit that shield. So what did I do? Well, I have this composite shot with the photon texture loaded into it and really all I did was drag this in as an embedded composite shot, stick it on the layer timeline in between my Klingon ship and my Federation ship, and it's just a 3D plane kind of stuck into space here. And it just cuts to that shield impact right there. So that's one way of using it, and this is the way you will have to use this in HitFilm Express. You'll just drag in the texture as an embedded composite shot and move it around in 3D space. Remember to set the layer properties 
so that it is always aligned towards the active camera so that I can move this photon torpedo anywhere I want to and not have to worry about seeing it edge on. Let's take a look at another way of setting up a photon torpedo. Still in HitFilm Pro 17 looking at one of the other setup composite shots for the animation. Here is a point attached to the back of this Klingon ship and attached to this is a particle simulator. The particle simulator is firing photon torpedoes and attached to the front of the Federation cruiser is another plane. And the plane is currently hidden. But if I turn it on, and this plane is set up as a deflector. So when the photon torpedoes that are being fired by the Klingon ship impact with the plane at the front of the Federation ship, it triggers a shield impact animation. But if a photon torpedo misses the shield, it just keeps going. So let's take a look at how to set that up. Here I've created a composite shot to set up a particle simulator for our photons. I have a 3D plane off in the distance and I've just dropped in a default particle simulator effect. I haven't done anything to it yet and I've created a 3D point called the photon point. So let's start making the changes to the particle simulator. The first thing I need to do is come over to the emitter, which is a point, and I'm going to attach it to the photon point. I'm going to change trajectory from random to cone, and I'm going to go ahead and take the radius down to 1. The next thing I need to do is create a mobile emitter, and then I'm going to come up to particle systems, and I'm going to delete the particle system. Down in the mobile emitter, I'm going to come down to appearance for the mobile emitter, and I'm going to assign that to a layer. I'm going to set the source layer to the photon texture light sword. I'm going to set frames to animated and I'm going to set the start frame to zero and the number of frames 240 because I know it's a 240 frame long animation. Loop can be set to on, billboard can be set to on, aligned motion is going to be set to on and then I need to come up to the particle systems and turn off the particle system for a minute. In the actual appearance for the mobile emitter I need to come down to color source, change that to texture color and I'm going to go ahead and use the texture alpha as well. Going into the general properties of the mobile emitters, I want its activation event to be death. What this means is that the mobile emitter is just going to continue doing what it does until it dies. But when it dies, it's going to spawn its own particles. And I'll show you what we do with that in just a moment. The next thing I need to do is tweak this mobile emitter so that it lasts longer than a second. Let's take the speed up to 500 or so, and let's go back up to general and take particles per second down to 0.5. We will now have one photon torpedo spawn every two seconds. Now I want to come down to the bottom to deflectors, add a deflector. I'm going to assign a layer for the deflector and I'm going to pick this plane that's off in the background. In the general category for the deflector, I want it active. I don't care about front face and back face. I do want it to kill mobile emitters. I do not want it to kill particles. Okay, so that sets up my photon. I think I'm going to go ahead and take particles per second back up to 10 for the moment. And now what I want to do is come to my photon point and I'm going to rotate that on its Y axis. And that's going to let me aim at this deflector. Now I'm going to go ahead and set that back to maybe one particle per second. Okay, activation event, death. So now I want to go into the particle system for the mobile emitter. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on. I'm going to change this particles per second down to a low number like 2. In the appearance for the particles in the mobile emitter, I'm going to set the texture source to a layer. I'm going to set the shield impacts layer. I'm going to set that to animated. And maybe make start frame, I don't know, 50 and turn off loop. For those particles, I'm gonna go ahead and set the life to two seconds. And 
come down a little bit more. Uh, I need to set that to texture color. I need to set that to texture alpha. And I can go ahead and turn off this plane because I don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to go back up in the mobile emitter properties and change the speed to 1500. And that's pretty much it. Now that this is set up, I have a particle emitter that is firing mobile emitters into a deflector plane. The mobile emitters are set to die when they hit the deflector plane, and on their death, they spawn particles. The particles are set up to be the shield impacts, so I now have a procedural photon torpedo that can be set up on a spaceship in a 3D environment and react procedurally and interactively with the surroundings. I don't have to think about these things anymore. I just kind of aim them and fire them. If they hit, they hit. If they don't hit, they don't hit. So I hope you have fun using photon torpedoes in your space battles. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. More tutorials, more templates coming soon.